Hey guys, I'm back with another coding interview practice video. Today's question is, given a string containing just the round, curly, and square parens, determine if the input string is valid. The parens must close in the correct order. It's pretty hard for me to read these out, so here are some examples on the screen you can see of valid and invalid parens strings. As usual, let's start by coming up with some test cases. I already have the ones given by the problem statement. Let's try to think of some examples that the given test cases don't cover. One case that isn't covered is valid parens embedded within parens. So let's add that. Another case is starting with a closing paren. So let's add that as well. Now let's move on to the strategy. In order for the string to be valid, the parens must close in the correct order. That means each closing paren must match the last unmatched opening paren. There's a data structure that fits this use case and it's called a stack. If you don't know what a stack is, I'll give a quick overview. When you stack plates, the last plate you place on the stack is the first plate you remove from the stack. It's the same thing for the stack data structure. The last piece of data you place on the stack is the first piece of data you remove from the stack. This feature is commonly known as last in first out because the last plate on the stack is the first one out of the stack. Adding something to the stack is typically called pushing and removing something from the stack is typically called popping. A stack data structure allows us to push and pop from the stack in constant time. Let's go back to the problem. We can keep track of opening parens by pushing them onto the stack. When we encounter a closing paren, we check if it matches the opening paren popped from the stack. If it does, we continue. If it doesn't, we know the string is invalid. If we encounter a closing paren while having an empty stack, the string is invalid since there aren't enough opening parens. And if we traverse the entire string and end with a non-empty stack, the string is invalid since not all opening parens were closed. The invariant we maintain throughout this entire process is that the stack contains only unmatched opening parens in the order that they appear. We're ready to code the solution. Let's start by initializing a stack. Python doesn't have a built-in stack data structure, but we can use their list as a stack. Python lists are implemented as array lists, which give an amortized constant time complexity for pushing, or in the case of Python lists, appending, and a constant time for popping. If you guys want to know more about array lists and amortized time complexity, let me know in the comments below. So let's initialize our stack to the empty list. Since we're going to be matching closing parens with opening parens, Let's use a dictionary to make this process easier. We'll map each closing paren to its respective opening paren. Now let's create a for loop to loop through each paren in parens. If it's an opening paren, we append it to the stack. Else, if the stack is empty or the popped opening paren off the stack doesn't match the current closing paren, we return false. Otherwise, we continue with the loop. At the end, we want to return true if the stack is empty and false otherwise. Let's run the test cases. And they pass. Now let's analyze the time complexity. We have a for loop, iterating through each paren in parens, and we do constant time operations within each iteration, pushing to the stack, popping from the stack, 
and obtaining a value from the dictionary. Therefore, the overall time complexity is O of n, where n is the length of parens. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, comment if you have any coding problem requests. Happy holidays and see you guys in the next video. Thank you.